So, we know transcendental and partition function And we can rewrite the transitional partition function like B by lambda to the 3, where lambda is h to the 2 by twice pi m k b t to the half and it has no dimension, so dimensionless quantity. Q is dimensionless quantity, so it has the dimension of lambda has dimension of length. Now, what we do, we will calculate the energy or average energy. Okay. So, we calculate average transitional energy is nothing but we have n number of particles. Okay. So, n times epsilon transitional average, so this is the average transitional energy, so epsilon transitional is the average transitional energy of a molecule uh, and it can be written as k b t to the 2 del l n q trans by del t at constant volume. Okay. Remember q trans is function is a function of temperature and volume. Okay. So, next we will calculate average transitional energy from the partition func transitional partition function. Okay. So, q trans or q trans was If we take log of Q trans, we get get this. Now we will differentiate logarithm of Q trans with respect to temperature. We get If we, if we differentiate ln q trans with respect to temperature at constant volume, we get 3 by 2 times t, because the first term gives you 0, second term gives uh, us 3 by 2 t and third term is also 0. So, average transitional energy of a single particle is k b t to the 2 times 3 by 2 t. So, it gives us three by two times k b t. Again classically we can write average transition energy is 
p x to the 2 by 2 m plus p y to the 2 by 2 m plus p z 2 by 2 m. Okay. Or we can write epsilon trans is nothing but 3 p to the 2 by 2 m. So, if we equate them, we get 3 p to the 2 by 2 m is nothing but 3 by 2 k v t. Okay, so, you get p is nothing but m k v t to the half. Okay. So, our lambda was h to the 2 by twice by m k b t to the 3 by 2. So, we get this order of h by p. Right. So, lambda is of the order of h by p. So, lambda is known as thermal de Broglie wavelength. Okay. So, what is the significance of lambda? So, next we discuss the significance of lambda. The condition for the applicability of classical or Boltzmann statistics is equivalent to the condition that lambda to the 3 by v is much much lower than 1. This means or this suggests that the thermal de Broglie wavelength must be must be small compared to the compared to the dimensions of the container or in other way or in other words it is similar to similar to the condition that quantum effect decrease as the de Broglie wavelength becomes small. Okay, so, basically lambda to the 3 by v if 
this quantity is very very or is much smaller than 1 then classically statistics or quantum uh, or, or Boolean statistics can be applied. Okay. Next we consider electronic partition function. So, we can write Q electronic is sum over I, I is level W E I times E to the minus beta epsilon I, where W E I is the degeneracy. of the ith level okay. and epsilon i is the energy of the ith level. Here we assume concept of zero energy and we consider so, so we will make one assumption here that epsilon 1 0 this is nothing but 0 energy we consider the concept of 0 energy we consider here. Okay. So, we can write Q electronic is W e 1 plus W e 2 e to the minus beta delta epsilon 1 2 plus W e 3 e to the minus beta delta epsilon 1 3 and so on. Okay. So, where delta epsilon 1 2 is nothing but uh, nothing but epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1 delta epsilon 1 3 is nothing but epsilon 3 minus epsilon 1 and so on. Okay. So, at ordinary temperature or, or but slightly higher temperature, okay, so these higher terms here they can be neglected. So, we can neglect, we can so at higher temperature, at room temperature and at room temperature and at moderately high temperature, these terms can be neglected. So, th this reduces the electronic partition function is W e 1 plus W e 2 e to the minus beta delta epsilon 1 2. Okay. So, this is our electronic partition function. Next, we move on to nuclear partition function. We will treat nuclear partition function in very similar way as we treated for electronic partition function. So, nuclear partition function we can define by sum over i where i is levels w n i e to the minus beta epsilon i. 
So, W n i where W n i is the degeneracy of ith nuclear energy level and epsilon i is the energy of ith nuclear energy level. So, if we expand it and if we apply, so first we will expand it we get W n 1 e to the minus beta epsilon 1 plus W n 2 e to the minus beta epsilon 2 and so on. Now, we assume epsilon 1 is 0, this is 0 energy concept. Then Q nuclear becomes W n 1 plus W n 2 e to the minus beta delta 1 to delta epsilon 1 to where delta epsilon 1 to like before the energy difference between epsilon 2 minus epsilon between epsilon 2 and epsilon 1. Okay. Now, the difference, the difference in most cases the value of delta epsilon i j suppose okay, or n j here or uh, yeah, i j or, or the, 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 different, uh, the value of the, the difference between in most cases the difference between two nuclear levels of the order of 10 to the 6 electron volt, so which is very, very high. So, the difference between uh, two nuclear levels is of the order of 10 to the 6 electron volt. So, basically we can neglect in the all the higher terms and we get Q nuclear is nothing but the degeneracy of the nuclear level having energy epsilon 1. So, we have obtained partition functions for translational degrees of freedom, for electronic degrees of freedom, for nuclear degrees of freedom. So, for ideal monoatomic gas, the molecular partition function q which is function of v and t this is nothing but q trans times q electronic times q now we will substitute the values of Q trans, Q electronic and Q nuclear here. So, we get Q V t is nothing but twice pi m K V t to the K V t by h to the 2 to 3 by 2 times volume and for electronic partition function we get W u 1 plus 
w e 2 e to the minus beta delta 1 2 and for nuclear partition function we get w n 1. So, this is the molecular partition function for ideal monatomic gas. Now, we got the partition function for a single molecule and then what we do we, we calc from here we calculate total partition function or partition function for n number of particles by using either this q v t to the n or q v t to the n by factorial n depending on whether the particles are distinguishable or indistinguishable. So, once we get capital Q, now we can calculate all macroscopic quantities, right? All thermodynamic quantities. Next, we discuss thermodynamic functions. Okay, so here we need to remember the contribution of the electronic. degrees of freedom to the energy is very small at ordinary temperature at ordinary temperatures since we have neglected intermolecular potential the contribution of of the intermolecular potential to the total energy to the total energy of the gas is or can be neglected can be omitted. Okay. So, what we get? We have now Q capital Q is capital Q is function n v t is Q to the Q v t to the n. So, and this Q it contributes, uh, it has terms like Q trans, Q electronic and Q nuclear. Okay. So, we can omit this term and this term because this is a constant term, Q nuclear is nothing but a constant term. So, we can just neglect this one. Okay. So, oh, we get L n q nothing but n L n q trans v t. Okay. Now, what is the value of q trans that we know? So, if we substitute that here, we get n L n 
twice pi m k b t times t by h to the 2 to the 3 by 2 times v. Okay. So, now we can further simplify this equation like 3 by 2 n ln twice pi m k b by h to the 2 plus 3 by 2 n ln t plus ln v. Okay, now, we can calculate average energy. So, average energy is del ln q average energy is k b t to the 2 del ln q by del t at constant v. Okay, and we know ln we have ln q is 3 by 2 n ln twice pi m k b by h to the 2 plus 3 by 2 ln t plus n ln v 3 by 2 you, we have n here also. So, 3 by 2 n uh, uh, ln t plus uh, n ln v. So, now we differentiate ln q with respect to temperature at constant volume. If we do it, we get 3 by 2 n 3 by 2 3 by 2 t times n. So, average energy is k b t to the 2 times 3 by 2 n by t. So, it gives us E 3 by 2 times n k b times t. So, this is the average energy and this average energy is nothing but the kinetic energy uh, of the gas molecules. Now, this 3 by 2 n k v t you can write 3 by 2 n times r t small n where small n is the number of moles and capital N is the n times n a and n a times k b gives the gas constant r right. So, if we if we do all these things here we get average energy is 3 by 2 n at t. So, what is the contribution C v or what is the value of C v here? C v is del E by del T constant volume we get 3 by 2 n r that we have um, uh, studied in uh, uh, plus 2 level the C v of monoatomic gas is 3 by 2 n r or uh, molar heat capacity C v C v per mole is 3 by 2 r when n small n number of moles is 1. So, that is the value of C v. Okay. Now, what is the value of pressure? Okay. So, now we calculate average pressure. So, average pressure is nothing but k b t del l n q by del v at constant n and t. So, if we differentiate l n q with respect to v at constant n and t, we get del l n q by del v at n by v. So, if we substitute that there, we get average pressure is nothing but n k v t by v. So, we get p v is n k v t and this is nothing but n r t. And this is the ideal gas equation that we have studied. So, this is ideal gas equation. 
So, this one we are supposed to get because we are dealing with ideal gas. Similarly, we can calculate A is minus K B T L n Q and they, they, if we substitute the value of L n Q here, we get the value of Next, we will discuss one very interesting thing that is known as Sekou Tetrod equation. Okay. So, we next we consider so what is the importance of Sekou Tetrod equation? So, it is a classical problem related to distinguishable and indistinguishable particles. Okay. So, by using Sekou-Tetrod -de equation, we basically solve the classical problem is Gibbs paradox. And we solve Gibbs paradox by using Sekou Tedor equation. So, what is Sekou Tedor equation? So, we know S, it is very simple. So, we know the expression for S, S is K B L N Q plus K B T del L N Q by del T at constant N and V. So, and we know Q is q trans to the n by factorial n. We are considering a transitional uh, degrees of freedom here and we are considering the particles are indistinguishable. So, it gives us ln q is n ln q trans minus ln n factorial. So, if you further simplify this one, we get ln q is n ln twice pi m k b t by h to the 2 raised to the 3 by 2 times v minus ln n factorial. And we also know that del ln q by del t at constant n and v gives us 3 n by 2 t. Now, if we substitute the value of ln q and del ln q by del t uh, in equation 1, suppose the expression for uh, s is equation 1. So, if we, if we substitute the value of ln q and del ln q by del t in equation 1, we obtain is k b n ln twice pi m k b t by h to the 2 to the 3 by 2 times volume minus ln n factorial. Okay, so, this further reduces to and then we have another term k b t times k b t times 3 n by 2 t. So, it further reduces. To, so, we get n k b ln So, this is this is known as so this is our suppose this is our equation 2 and this is Sekou Tedrod equation. Now, what we will do here, 
we will use circuit dot equation to solve Gibbs paradox, which is a classical problem that is mentioned before. Okay. So, what is Gibbs paradox rather? Okay. So, we start discussing Gibbs paradox. Consider two experiments or two examples or two cases. Suppose case 1, we have here a container which contains which has two compartments okay? and the volume of both the compartment is V and both of them contain a number of ideal gas molecules. Okay, suppose in both in first case we have gas molecule uh, gas particle A here, but simplicity we you, you consider that we con that the, 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 that the gas molecules are, are monatomic. So we have gas A here and gas B here. So basically we have one container and there is a partition inside the container which produces two different compartments and volume of both the compartments are V, both the compartments is V, volume of both the compartment is V and both the compartments contain same number of particles N. But in one compartment we have gas A and another compartment we have gas B and for simplicity you, con you consider that uh, they are ideal monatomic gases, the gas A and B. So, here the catch is the density, the density of or the gas density of both the compartments are equal, the gas density. So, gas density means number density we are talking about here. So, number of particles per unit volume, the gas density is at equal in both the compartments. So, the gas densities are equal in both the compartments. Now, suppose the, this thing is our initial state. So, initially we have a container in which there is a partition there which makes or which divides the container into two equal compartments and the volume of the each compartment is V and both the compartments contain same number of particles N. But in one compartment we have gas molecule A and in another compartment we have gas molecule B. So, this is our initial state. Now, if we remove the partition, what will happen? we have n number of gas molecules of A and n number of gas molecules B, both are present in 2 V volume. So, this is our final volume. So, they will mix, right? So, this is our final state. Okay. So, if you remove the partition, they will mix. And we know this mixing process is entropy driven and delta mix is nothing but delta S final. is greater than 0, right? it has some value. Next, we consider another case with a very similar experiment, but we will use same gas molecules in both the compartments. Okay? So, in case 2, we have 
very similar arrangement in number of particles volume V and we have gas molecule A here and here also same gas molecules in both the compartment. Again if we remove the partition, what do you get? They will mix, right? So, we have 2 n number of gas molecules A in 2 V volume. So, 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 initially we had a container in which there is a partition which divides the container into two compart equal co compartments of equal volume V. And in both the uh, compartments of the contain, in both, both the compartments we have n number of particles A. And if we remove the partition, they will mix. And what is the value of delta S mix here or delta S final here? Is zero. Okay. So mathematically, we will prove this with the help of Sakutet Dodd equation. Okay. So, you can see that in, in both cases, in first case we have in both experiments uh, we have very similar arrangements except that in first case we consider two different gases and in second case we consider same gas molecules. But in first case we get a positive uh, entropy of mixing, but in, uh, in, in, next, in second case uh, there is no entropy change if we remove the partition. Okay. So, how we will prove that? mathematically. Okay. So, we know, so for case 1, we will start with case 1. For case 1, before mixing, the entropy of the initial state is nothing but entropy for gas A in the initial state plus entropy of gas B at the initial state. Right. And if we sub, if we now use the Sakutet Dodd equation here, we can write is initial is n k b ln v plus three by two ln t plus three by two So, this is for gas A plus N K B three by two L N T plus three by two L N twice pi M B M B is the mass of gas molecule B. minus ln n plus 5 by 2. So, this is for gas B. Okay. So, what is the what is the value of uh, S final? Because we need to calculate S final and S initial separately. Once we get the value of S final and S initial, if we, if we take uh, the difference between the difference between them gives us the entropy of mixing or delta S final. Okay. So, what is S final or entropy in the final state? So, S final is N K B ln 2 V plus 3 by 2 ln T plus 3 by 2 ln twice pi M K B sorry M A times K B by H to the two minus L N N plus five by two. Now we have N number of gas molecules A in in volume two V. Okay. So, so this is for gas A 
and for gas B, we will have very similar expression except the term M A and M B. So, what is delta S mixing? So, delta S mixing or we can say delta S is nothing but S final minus S initial. Okay. So, what is delta X? Delta S mix now. So, if we subtract S initial from S final, we get 2n r ln 2. So, this is greater than 0. Okay. That we obtain from a classical thermodynamics also. Okay. So, for case 1, when we use two different gas molecules into, into different compartments, we get positive entropy change okay that is expected what about the value of delta s mix for case 2 okay so for case 2 we get s initial is twice n k b ln v plus 3 by 2 ln t plus 3 by 2 ln twice pi m. We have now gas molecule A by h to the 2 minus ln n factorial plus 5 by 2. Okay, so, we have basically two same terms. Okay. And what is S final? Is twice n k b. Now we have two n number of particles in volume two v. So we get two v plus three by two ln t plus three by two ln twice pi m a k b. by h to the 2 minus ln twice n factorial now plus 5 by 2. Okay, so now, if we subtract S initial from S final, we get delta S mix is nothing but delta S is S final minus S initial and we get 0. Okay. So, this was first, this problem was first resolved by Gibbs. Okay. So, that is why it is known as Gibbs paradox. So, we have resolved Gibbs paradox by using Sakutet dot equation. Thank you. Thank you.